Hi, I'm Jimmy Walter from the SRAM Mountain Bike Brakes Development Team. If you have a guide brake lever that squeaks when you pull the lever, this video will show you a short maintenance procedure to eliminate the noise. This won't require a bleed and it shouldn't take any more than five minutes. You'll need a T8 Torx wrench, a T10 Torx wrench, T8 and T10 Torx bit sockets, a torque wrench, a two millimeter hex wrench, a SRAM guide lever internals assembly tool, a pick, some Loctite 242, and some Avid dot grease. Click the appropriate link for specific instructions for your brake. If you have a guide RSC or ultimate, follow this procedure. First, remove your brake lever from your handlebar. Do not cut the hydraulic brake hose. This brake hose has been cut for demonstration only. Before we get started, turn the contact adjust dial all the way to the full out position in the opposite direction of the arrow until it stops. Then using a T10 Torx wrench, remove the lever pivot bolts and set those aside. Then remove the lever and cam assembly. It should come right out. Inside of the lever on the swing link, there's a T8 set screw. Now using a T8 Torx wrench, back that set screw out about two full turns. Then carefully remove the swing link pivot. Then using a two millimeter hex wrench, kind of fish out the swing link. and set the lever body aside for now. Then you'll need to remove the push rod by unthreading it from the swing link. Set that aside. Then you'll take the dowel and dowel bushing out of the swing link. And using some Avid dot grease, we're just gonna coat the outside of it. Put a little bit on your glove and then just roll it around in your fingers like this. Then reinstall that back into the swing link install the push rod back into the dowel, making sure that it's in the correct orientation. And now this is a pretty important step. Take your guide lever internals assembly tool, set the swing link into it, then using a two millimeter hex wrench, come in from the backside and turn the push rod clockwise until it bottoms out. Then holding the swing link with your finger, pull it out, and making sure to line up the ears of the push rod with the coupler inside that has some notches, so the ears have to be aligned to that. And insert it back into the lever body. Then take your swing link pivot, install it back through, tighten the T8 Torx set screw. We'll apply just a little bit of Loctite 242 to these pivot bolts. Just a little dot, we'll be fine. Now we're going to install the lever blade and cam assembly onto the brake lever body, making sure to keep the bias spring on the outside of the lever body. Then, while holding those in place, so you can just get the, these pivot screws started by hand. Get them close with your T10 Torx wrench, and then using a torque wrench, tighten them to three newton meters. And then reinstall your brake lever back onto your handlebars and go for a ride. If you have a guide RS, follow this procedure. First, remove your brake lever from your handlebar. Do not cut the hydraulic brake hose. This brake hose has been cut for demonstration only. We'll remove the little rubber plug from the set screw on the cam and set that aside. Then using a T8 Torx wrench, we'll back the set screw out three or four full turns and then push out the lever pivot set that aside. Then without losing any of the parts or getting them out of order, pull the lever and cam assembly out and set that aside. 
Now using the same T8 Torx wrench, we will loosen the set screw that holds the swing link pivot in place about two full turns and then push out the swing link pivot and set that aside. And then pull out the swing link. Now we're using a two millimeter hex wrench, rotate the push rod clockwise and set the push rod aside. Then remove the swing link push rod dowel and bushing and using some Avid dot grease, we're just gonna coat the outside of it. Put a little bit on your glove and then just roll it around in your fingers like this. And go ahead and put that back in the swing link. Grab the push rod and reinstall it. And then using your two millimeter hex wrench, back the push rod up into the bushing until it bottoms out. Then we're going to reinstall this into the lever. Now take your swing link pivot, put it back through the swing link. And using a T8 Torx wrench, we'll tighten the set screw. Then using a torque wrench with a T8 bit, tighten that to three newton meters. Then, carefully making sure that the cam and all the pieces don't come out. Then reinstall the lever blade and cam assembly, being sure to keep the lever bias spring on the outside of the lever body. And holding those parts in place, we'll reinstall the lever pivot. Then using your T8 Torx wrench, tighten down that set screw. Then again, torque that to three newton meters. And reinstall little rubber plug into the set screw and that's it.